Professor Amel, what are some characteristics of good business strategies? Duke, a good business strategy is essentially simple. A business strategy is about the focus of resources, and a good strategy focuses multiple resources on a, on a single objective. Uh, where companies go wrong is when they try to make it too complicated, a big, thick plan, complicated uh, uh, charts and structures. Uh, if you can't explain your business strategy in a few minutes and a few pages, there's something wrong. If good business strategies are essentially simple, what are some of the hindrances toward implementing them or even generating a good strategy? There's a number of difficult obstacles to overcome. Uh, one of the primary ones is that it's difficult to determine whether or not you're accomplishing your strategy by looking at current results. Uh, the current results of a company are largely uh, a function of its endowment, the things it inherits from the past, like its brand name, its reputation, its market position. And these change slowly over time. And so you can have a company that's producing excellent results but has a poor strategy. And vice versa, you can have a company with a poor results that has an excellent strategy. And this creates the interest in the subject, but it also creates the, the intellectual complexity of, of what we're looking at. Uh, the second thing I would point out is that there's a, an essence of, of compromise that's, that's really part of the human character, I think, and it's certainly part of organizational life and organizational politics, that, that while competitive success comes from a focus of resources, our natural tendency in organizations is to try to satisfy multiple constituencies. For example, at the Ford Motor Company, uh, there are some executives who believe that to be successful in the automobile business, you have to make at least a million units a year on a single platform. Uh, there are other executives who believe that brand is the essence of success in the automobile business. And they point to the recent acquisitions of Volvo and Jaguar uh, as, as, as the direction into the future. Now, both of these arguments have a lot of merit. The problem arises is when you try to satisfy both. If you produce Volvos and Jaguars or Volvos and Lincolns on the same platform, trying to get those economies of scale, you begin to dilute the brand names. And the loyal customers and the loyal dealers uh, have become less passionate about these, these brands. And at the same time, you don't really get the uh, kind of economies that you're looking for because you still have to maintain uh, a certain amount of differentiation between these products and, and produce the, they have to look different and feel different. And so instead of getting the best of both worlds through this kind of a compromise, you, you're getting some of the problems in both worlds and that, that lack of focus. Is, is very typical in any large organization and is a major, major hindrance to the accomplishment of a strategy. The third thing I would point out is that the choice set isn't really known in strategy. If you take a multiple choice examination, uh, the instructor says choose A, B, or C. Well, that can be a struggle, but at least you know what the choice set is. In, in real strategic situations, you don't. Uh, intellectually, we call this the problem of induction. Uh, I worked, for example, with a major airline uh, in a few years after deregulation, and they were used to looking at a number of basic strategic decisions on a periodic basis, things like what kind of new aircraft should they buy, should it be Boeing, should it be Douglas. But deregulation had made their menu of choices obsolete. Uh, they now had to think about things that, uh, like the structure of their network, should it be hub and spoke, should it be long lines, uh, should they price in, in, in different ways to different segments. But at that point in time, they really didn't even understand what these choices were. And uh, while they were quite willing to make strategic decisions, it took a number of years for them to come to understand what the issues were in this new world that they had to decide about. And so that makes, makes strategy quite difficult.